the IG concept is the ability to take the prosthesis, that is the temporary prosthesis, and instead of going through the normal channels that we do or protocols and steps that we've learned in the past, we can either do an intraoral optical scan and record the bite. We can take impressions. We can do use a desktop scanner and record the position of the existing prosthesis. And this is a temporary prosthesis that we're going to now convert to a final prosthesis. So in order to be able to do that, we want to be able to have all of the information at our disposal. So here in this particular slide, you can see that we have the prototype, which is the temporary prosthesis that will allow us to help the laboratory design the final prosthesis based upon the position and the bite that has already been recorded. So the iJig is a time-saving transfer appliance. The purpose is to fabricate a new full arch restoration from an existing full arch temporary restoration. And this must be done on multi-unit abutments. We're going to scan an existing appliance or prosthesis, upload that to any of the other labs that are affiliated with the Chrome Guide, and receive an iJig, sectioned, relieved, and ready for looting and pickup. This will potentially reduce restorative time up to three visits. So here's the iJig. And as you can see, there's a vacuum form matrix over the top with the multi-unit abutment copings in place, and the iJig itself is sectioned because we want to make sure that we have a passive fit when this prosthesis is delivered to the mouth. And we want to be able to transfer that position and transfer the position of the implants that were picked up in the mouth originally to the laboratory. So there can be no mistake about the fit. So using the vacuform matrix, we're able to seat this. You can see the spacing that exists, and you can see that there are also holes that are made to be able to introduce either uh, an acrylic material, as you can see here, a resin pattern, or we can inject a flowable composite, or we can inject uh, acrylic as well. On the, on the left, you can see the resin. On the right, you can see the flowable composite that's light cured. So we can do whatever the, the clinician wants uh, in, in their armamentarium, but important here, once this process is, is completed, we have to do one more step. Actually, we have to do more than one step, but we have to record the intaglio surface, the undersurface of the prosthesis. And we're going to do that by injecting impression material underneath, and you can see that that impression material will also be held in by the holes in the iJig itself. A bite registration absolutely is essential to be able to make sure that we have the proper bite relationship between the mandible and the maxilla, whether we're doing dual arch or we're doing a single arch. And then, of course, this will this information will get translated into whatever software the laboratory is using. In this case, you can see this is a three-shape, and you can see the bite relationship that has been established in the different views. Once this is on the laboratory's computer, the laboratory technician can take over, can complete the design process, can create a virtual world, whether it's in 3Shape or ExoCAD. And here you can see an ExoCAD version with the iJig information that's superimposed over the new design for the prosthesis. And this will allow us to be able to have excellent communication between the temporary prosthesis and the final prosthesis. And so here you can see as each one of these arches are completed, and you can visualize the bite relationship, it appears to be right on the money. So here are the multi-unit abutments in place in the maxilla and the mandible. You can even see how the fixation pin areas that had been uh, more visible in the panoramic radiographs are now filling in with bone. This happens to be a nano ultra trilor material for this particular case. Good. Keep going, keep going. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, you can stop. And you can see the bite relationship is right on the money. So the iJig allows for an easy transfer. Now we're going to go in, plug up the screw access hole with our PTFE tape, 
and um, the te telio on the material or firm it so that there is a smooth surface for the screw access holes and the tongue of the patient. It's critical that we make some sort of a night guard for the patient, comfort guard, and this is also a laboratory step.